Okay, um, we're here in Dr. Sim's office. It's July uh, 2012. Speak up. Speak up. Hey. And uh, we are visiting from Seattle. This is my daughter, and she's 15. Um, we came up from Seattle on Monday. Had a great consultation with Dr. Sims. Um, we arrived here um, through a referral in Seattle where we were not really getting answers to a lot of, of her symptoms. Um, the symptoms she's had over the past two years have been, uh, well, it's gotten progressively worse, but um, the, the last six months we've had, um, she's been dealing with chronic fatigue, um, brain fog. Uh, a decrease in reading comprehension. Uh, let's see what else. There's a long list. Uh, tinnitus in her ears. Um, the fatigue is probably the worst, but um, she also deals with shallow breathing, um, some difficulty with motor problems in her fingers on occasion. Um, what else? feel like I'm missing a few. I know there's more anxiety and social anxiety has been a problem off and on. Um, some sensory difficulties and as we kind of step back and look, the bulk of the symptoms have been the past six months, like there's been a steep decline in symptoms, but really dating back two years and even prior some of these symptoms were present, especially the sensory changes. Um, um, We've had a diagnosis of Asperger's, uh, which I have never really been sure if it's been a, 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 the right fit. Um, Dr. Sims has suggested that we're dealing with low serotonin and has he's explained those symptoms and how uh, the TMJ, the jaw issues can be related, it, it makes sense. And so I have full confidence um, that this treatment with the orthotic is going to alleviate those symptoms. and. Um, you know, we've done some research, but uh, we just feel like we're finally on a path that has some hope where we haven't had any hope pre previous. And really, it's just not been much of a life the last six months. There's been um, the inability to, to, to do schoolwork. We've lost a semester. And I just um, hoping, praying, and um, that we're going to be seeing a big turnaround here shortly with these symptoms. And we're just happy to, to be under Dr. Sims' treatment. All right. Nothing? Anything else you want to add? So we'll be giving, we'll be giving. can't even talk yet. You can't talk yet. The orthotic is new. We'll be hoping to, to be uh, giving Dr. Sims some feedback from Seattle here soon with, with some good reports. So. All right. Good. We'll let you know what happens. Good deal. Hi, my name is Serena. My name is Grace. And we are in Seattle, and this is our six week, about our six week update for Dr. Sims. Um, we went out to see Dr. Sims in July, about six weeks ago, and Grace was in very poor health. Uh, we had found out before we left that she, in fact, had uh, internal derangement in both of her TMJ joints. And so we made the, uh, made the effort to go out to Maryland and I'll just share a little bit about what Grace's symptoms were like when we arrived. Uh, she'd been sick for about six months, and some of her symptoms had even been going on prior to that. So it was just, uh, she was in some dire straits when we went. The, the biggest uh, symptom was fatigue, chronic fatigue. And chronic fatigue, I think we've decided, is just almost too mild of a word, really, or words to describe what she was going through. She was virtually bedridden for those six months, unable to really participate in any family activities. She had to drop out of school. She was only able to maintain a couple of subjects in her freshman year. So it was just a really, really challenging time for us, and we ruled out all other things here in Seattle before we left. Um, thinking that it was viral, and come to find out it was in fact TMJ, even though she wasn't dealing with a lot of pain that we knew of at the time. So uh, her other uh, main symptoms we came with were, um, I have to look at my notes here, were brain fog, uh, pretty extreme brain fog, inability to read, uh, shallow breathing, um, racing and intrusive thoughts, 
you know, difficulty with, the, with attention, ADD sort of symptoms, um, difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep. So sleep issues were a big thing. Um, she was even toward the end having motor difficulties with her fingers, um, just not being able to have them move the way she wanted to. So even though she didn't have a full on movement disorder, she may have been moving in that direction because there were signs and symptoms of that that were beginning. And um, it wasn't just the movement with her fingers that was a problem that had been problematic prior to that. Her fingers had very, very poor circulation. Her hands were always ice, ice cold, uh, no matter what we did. And it seemed to it seems to me that it was very much related to the to the TMJ. Uh, Grace has also had a history of uh, absence seizures and partial, complex partial seizures. Uh, we never really knew what they even were until about a year ago. Haven't fully, we weren't even fully um, diagnosed really. It's just, we were just kind of overwhelmed and felt prior to the six months ago that maybe a lot of these symptoms she was experiencing had to do with Asperger's because she was given that diagnose about at about six years of age. But um, we're wondering now, we think that maybe this TMJ has been going on for many, many years and during growth periods, some of her symptoms would get worse and um, about age 14, 15, things really started to fall apart. So another really troubling symptoms were was uh, stomach discomfort, abdominal discomfort. Um, I think that covers most everything. There's more things, anxiety. There were a few other neurological symptoms that were also there that have been present for a while. So just so many different things and um, not really any answers here in Seattle. So uh, now I just want to give a quick update where we're at six weeks later. Uh, got a smile <laughs> on her face and you know as we went down these list of symptoms together and talked about them really it's going to be a journey that we're not, she's not 100% yet with any of these, but there were some things that were very, very dramatic. Uh, after day one, after she got her appliance, the very next day, her vertigo, which I failed to mention, vertigo was another big symptom. Her vertigo was another thing keeping her bedridden, and that was gone. She was able to walk normally. We went out and did a little bit of sightseeing before we came home to Seattle. And that was just, it was like miraculous for us. So the vertigo day one was gone with the appliance. And gradually we've seen improvement with the fatigue. A lot of it's just been, um, you know, getting stamina back. That's, that's difficult after so long in bed. But the fatigue is definitely better. And I think it's mainly due to better quality of sleep. Uh, Grace has always taken, what, melatonin? melatonin. GABA. Melatonin and GABA to go to sleep and we've been able to wean off that. You're not really taking it once in a while. A couple times she's had to take it in the last six weeks, but for the most part, falling asleep has just been better than ever before. Ever you It's never been this good. <laughs> never been this good. That's it's amazing, amazing. Uh, the shallow breathing is gone for the most part. Uh, abdominal comfort and discomfort made a big improvement initially, just a big leap forward with her appetite improving. It's not, that's the one thing that's been a little bit uh, rocky still. Um, we're gonna be going in in about a week just to have the little divots in her appliance resurfaced, built up a little bit, because there's some grooves there. We're hoping to see maybe some improvement again with that. Um, there's been some, dip, some decreased sensitivity in sound been a little bit better, not quite so sensitive to the noise. The motor difficulties with her fingers, gone. That hasn't come back, has it? No, it's all gone. Nope, no problems there. Uh, her fingers are warmer. <laughs> Circulation is better. So um, the dizziness, like I said, is gone. The brain fog uh, is not 100% yet but it's miles and miles from where we were six weeks ago. She was She's now um, restarting her school studies with algebra, uh, and she's able to comprehend and just pay attention easier. Uh, we're hoping that that will improve with time so that her studies will be easier this year. And let's see, 
I think we've gone over all of the main symptoms. Uh, and is there anything that you want to add that you feel like is better now? Or I can't think of anything. Yeah, I think we've covered everything. So we're just grateful to Dr. Sims for, uh, for diagnosing her, for giving us hope. Um, we're seeing her serotonin levels, I believe, increase because some of the symptoms that he shared with us about low serotonin we've seen great things come about with that just mood improvement and you know as the sleep and everything so uh, we just encourage uh, other people just to try this for for these kind of symptoms we hope that her story will help someone else even though she doesn't have a movement disorder it's been amazing so we're again we're very thankful thank you dr. Sims